Hey guys, Sam Ross here with a brand new time lapse video and I actually have no idea what I'm going to talk about because I only finished this piece about two hours ago. If that and I decided to edit really quickly and record a voiceover before I went to sleep. So yeah, there's that. Um, I guess I'll just talk about a little bit about the process and um, how I got here and yeah. But I guess I'll get into it. Anyway, um, this piece took a while to get to this point. I went through a lot of sketches. I, um, I did a lot of researching, I guess, um, and kind of taking inspiration from places like Pinterest and stuff like that. Um, but this wasn't originally what I was going to draw. I was planning on designing stickers. And when I tried doing that, I just every time I put my tab my pen to my tablet, nothing was coming out, and my ideas weren't coming through the way I wanted to. So what I did is I took a break, and then I um, I, I, so I sat down, watched maybe a few videos on YouTube, and I think I might have even started Team Wolf at that point. And then, um, yeah, I came back and I started sketching. And this piece was actually inspired by, I think her name's Casey Golden. She's a YouTuber and um, an artist on YouTube. And she was, she's doing the sketchbook slam at the moment. And um, she was doing these really um, cute hybrid um, animal humanoids humanoid type characters and I thought that was really cool and I've always wanted to draw a centaur but I've never had the confidence um human anatomy isn't um something that I'm good at and horse anatomy is definitely something that I'm not good at although um anatomy and uh, animals and things like that is something that I definitely want to get better at and that is probably a goal for this year I might even do some like sketches and studies um for YouTube if you guys are interested in that um definitely some like quicker videos so i can do put more videos up weekly um that is a goal as well um to put, post more content on a regular basis so um yeah anyway um back to this piece so um i was i, I th had a little bit of confidence after i did the um last unicorn screen cap redraw and um i actually also looked at i i looked at a lot of different things for this I looked at my little ponies um, the current season um, the current version of my little pony um, to try and simplify horse shapes and I think that helped a little bit um, and um, I looked at armor on Pinterest um, female armor in particular and I was going to do proper like armor but I didn't really know how to do that on a profile angle so um, I kind of went through a d few different things and I was like realistically I don't think metal armor is something that a centaur is gonna have but I don't know I got there in the end and I'm pretty I was pretty happy with the sketch I really liked how it was going um, it was fairly simple and I'm finding that my art is slowly heading in a simpler direction um, but anatomy is definitely something that I want to get better at and, and understanding it a bit better and having the confidence to create more kinds of um, poses and things like that and more different angles and you know just stuff that I want to get better at that I've kind of slacked off since um, studying art um, but yeah I really like the color palette of this it was a little bit different too I normally don't do something so um, neutral but I definitely think the pop of purple helped I was originally going to do um, a color palette inspired by um, Palomino horses because um, as a little girl when I was growing up they were my favorite kind of horses because I really wanted a horse as a kid I think most children go through that phase and I definitely went through the I want a horse phase and um, growing up in Australia um, one of my favorite shows as a tween was like the saddle club um, <laughs> and um yeah it was just added to the the i want a horse so bad but um yeah i never got a horse uh i 
remember people saying they were going to get me a horse because I, I did live in the country for a little while and um, it never happened. So, but if I could have had a horse, a Palomino, um, they're just so beautiful. They're like, they're, they're, their color is like a, a gold, a car like a caramel with the blonde um, mane and tail and they're just, they're gorgeous horses. Anyway, um, and I guess that inspired her hair color, but I also realized it was kind of inspired by Daenerys from Game of Thrones and I guess the color palette a little bit, like especially in season one where she's wearing all those um, leathers and uh, the first few seasons where she's wearing leather. Um, and um, in the book she has lavender colored eyes which again I guess the purple so it kind of was inspired a little bit by Daenerys Targaryen who um, isn't she was my favorite character for a while but she isn't so much now and anyway I'm, I'm going on about um, Game of Thrones I really just love how balanced the colors are in this I feel like um, I had some really nice balance and I tried to um, use this um, a limited color palette because I d recently did a coloring in page for um, Draw With Jazz's um, coloring contest and I used a lot of different colors and that really put a lot of pressure and strain on my hand and a lot of time and effort. With digital art I find that the more colors you do the longer it takes. Um, this piece took me a while the sketch the sketch took me about three or four hours just getting it right and um in the end i just had to be happy with it um, because otherwise i was spending too much time on it and ideally it wasn't this piece wasn't to um do to to it was kind of to like warm up and get back into the swing of things and kind of try and come up with my own concepts because I've been feeling a bit meh about my original stuff lately. Um, I've been relying a lot on fan art and I think that is in a, a whole separate video because I definitely want to do some more fan art but I really don't want to rely on it as much as I have been. So taking a break from fan art and um getting in back into make designing my own character i feel like maybe i need some prompts or something that might be a good idea too to to kind of get those creative juices flowing um but i also want to mention that um i did do a previous video which was about coloring in line my lineless flat art uh, um flat colors um in clip studio paint and i realized that i forgot to mention that if you um use the transparent watercolor brush you can blend out over a layer so if you have a layer of color and you're happy with that um, like one tone and you put another tone over the top on a new layer it'll still blend out into it and if you want to check out that video I'll leave it around the video somewhere I'm getting the hang of this YouTube thing finally and it's taken me forever but I'm getting there um, and I'm really excited for this year in terms of art I've got a lot of stuff a lot of ideas like to do some more traditional stuff and I'm hoping to get a new camera somewhere in the next few months around the next few months um, really excited for that I really need a new camera um, uh, slash um, video slash um, I just want a new digital SLR so um, yeah um, I, uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I've got a big traditional piece that I'm working on. It's taking me a while because I can only work on weekends and some weekends I can work two days, some weekends I can work one day and, you know, I just, um, especially on traditional art, digital art I can do all the time. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping to add a few more things to this channel, mix it up, add a bit more variety and, um, we're getting close to the end of this video. Um, it'll be over in a couple of minutes so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I really enjoyed making this piece I had a lot of fun I did slack off a little bit and it did take me a lot longer to do I would have had it done days ago except I got distracted by the internet like I've been binge watching Teen Wolf and um, playing the PlayStation I got recently got Street Fighter 5 and I just really wanted to play Street Fighter so um, I've been playing Street Fighter um, I'm planning to go back and play Overwatch because I haven't played that for a little bit and um, yeah just get 
busy and try make some art try make some sticker designs I feel like that's my next project um, I also have another screen cap that I want to redraw and um, yeah lots of traditional stuff to work on and yeah hopefully this year will mean good things for me I hope anyway um, that is it from me I hope you liked this video if you did please feel free to give it a thumbs up if you want to Stay around, stick around for more videos, hit the subscribe button and hit that little notification bell so you're always on in the know and when I upload videos. Um, Monday is my day is for my main video and I'll keep that as digital art. I think Mondays will be digital art and then during the week I might throw in a few extra videos if I get time. Um, Mondays will be my talking videos and other videos I'll probably may do voiceovers but probably not anyway um stay tuned I'll probably do a video of updates and stuff like that anyway um so uh social media will be down listed down below and yeah that's pretty much it I can't think of anything else to say but um oh I also changed the background up a bit you'll see that in the picture at the end of the video and yeah that is it from me. Thanks for watching guys and I'll hopefully talk to you all very, very soon. Bye.